today. And for one astronomer, this historic event is not just about science, it is also a religious experience. Chief religion correspondent Lauren Green is here with us in New York. Lauren, great to have you with us. Oh, it's great to be here. You know what, I joined the hundreds, thousands of New Yorkers who descended out of the offices to watch the eclipse. A little, little sliver between Were the buildings. Were you able to see? Yes, with the glasses I saw. Right. It was absolutely awesome absolutely incredible and you know the thing about it is is that now that science can predict eclipses they are they do, they garner less um, fear and more fascination but for one scientist this rare event confirms his faith in God but it might surprise you why as the moon blocks out the sun and brings total darkness to a large swath of North America today millions are marveling at the rare sight but for physicist and astronomer Dr. Hugh Ross it's a reminder that a solar eclipse that more than a hundred years ago confirmed Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity which proved the universe was finite and that it had a beginning. The equations of general relativity reliably describe movements of bodies in the universe. Space and time are created, which establishes that the cause of the universe must be an entity or a being beyond space and time. Now, Ross says only in the Bible among all holy books is God described in that way. Now, Ross says we live in a unique time in history of the universe when we just happen to be able to view these eclipses because the moon's distance from the Earth is the exact size it needs to be in order to completely block out the sun. If we were here at a different time, we wouldn't be able to understand the physics of our sun, the physics of other stars to the degree that we can. God wanted us, in my opinion, to be able to read the whole book of nature. Now, Ross says the glimpse, the eclipses give us a glimpse into God's character, that we can predict these celestial motions is not by chance, but because the Creator has ordered the world in that way and allowing us to connect with our designer. This is a very fascinating thing because it actually says the moon is actually pulling away from the earth. So we are in the exact time in history, among millions of years, that we can actually view these eclipses where the moon totally blocks out the sun. Because of course it's constantly evolving and changing. Exactly. And the space is exactly. between. And Einstein's theory uh, confirmed that there is a beginning, that there is the Big Bang. So the universe is expanding like this. That's how we know that. And it was interesting what he said at the beginning about how Einstein's theory of relativity, in, in his opinion, proved that the universe had a moment of beginning that could only have been created by an entity that set that into motion. Well, understand that before the general relativity theory, scientists believed that the universe was static, eternal, that there was no beginning to it. It was Einstein's theory that actually confirmed it had a beginning, and Einstein actually in inserted a factor to create the static universe and realized he had to take it out because it wasn't accurate. Mm -hmm. And that's what gave us the Big Bang. Fascinating, it's so yes. interesting. And of course, there's also discussion today about the hours during which um, Christ was crucified and whether or not the darkness that is described that came over that area for three hours is scientifically possible. Well, that's what um, uh, Dr. Ross says. He says, from an astronomer's point of view, the crucifixion was something totally different. You know, a solar eclipse lasts for about one minute to seven and a half minutes, right? What the Bible describes during the crucifixion was total darkness for three hours. But from an astronomer's point of view, that is not an eclipse. That is something else, totally. And so you have to go back and say, okay, is there a natural uh, cause of that? Or is this another kind of miraculous kind of event that God created during the crucifixion? It's really fascinating. And, you know, just very quickly in the last minute that we have, Lauren, um, we've heard everybody today that we've spoken to say that it sort of makes them think about their place in the world and um, how, how small we are in the universe and how short our time is on this, on this planet. <laughs> Anybody who thinks that they're in control of their own life, if you mm -hmm. see that um, solar eclipse, you'll have no, you have no uh, implications that you are in control of your life, that there is somebody out there who can create that at this time in history for us to view. Thank you so much, Lauren. Uh, Lauren always has a great um, perspective on these things and a depth of understanding of a lot of it that uh, you bring to the table. So it's great to have you with us. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.